American ancestry refers to people in the United States who self-identify their ethnic origin or descent as American, rather than the more common officially recognized racial and ethnic groups that make up the bulk of the American people. The majority of these respondents are white Americans, who however no longer self-identify with their original ethnic ancestral origins or simply respond as a political statement. This response is attributed to a multitude of or generational distance from ancestral lineages. Although U.S. Census data indicates, "...American ancestry," is commonly self-reported in the Deep South and Upland South, the vast majority of Americans and expatriates do not equate their nationality with ancestry, race or ethnicity, but with citizenship and allegiance. <laughs> <laughs> Historical reference The earliest attested use of the term American to identify an ethnic or cultural identity dates to the late 1500s, with the term signifying the indigenous peoples discovered in the Western Hemisphere by Europeans. In the following century, the term American was extended as a reference to colonists of European descent. The Oxford English Dictionary identifies this secondary meaning as historical and states that the term American today chiefly means a native birthright or citizen of the United States. President Theodore Roosevelt, a prominent naturalist, asserted an American race had been formed on the American frontier, one distinct from other ethnic groups, such as the Anglo-Saxons. He believed, the conquest and settlement by the whites of the Indian lands was necessary to the greatness of the race. Roosevelt's race Beliefs certainly weren't unique in the 19th and early 20th century. Eric Kaufman has suggested that American nativism has been explained primarily in psychological and economic terms to the neglect of a crucial cultural and ethnic dimension. Kaufman contends American nativism cannot be understood without reference to the theorem of the age that an American National ethnic group had taken shape prior to the large-scale immigration of the mid-19th century. Nativism gained its name from the Native American parties of the 1840s and 1850s. In this context, native does not mean indigenous or American Indian but rather those descended from the inhabitants of the original 13 colonies colonial American ancestry. These old stock Americans, primarily English Protestants saw Catholic immigrants as a threat to traditional American Republican values as they were loyal to the papacy. Nativist movements included the Know Nothing or American Party of the 1850s and the Immigration Restriction League of the 1890s. Nativism would influence Congress, in 1924 legislation limiting immigration from Southern and Eastern European countries was ratified, while quantifying previous formal and informal anti-Asian provisions, such as the Chinese Exclusion Act of 1882 and the Gentlemen's Agreement of 1907. Modern usage Statistical data According to U.S. Census Bureau, "...ancestry refers to a person's ethnic origin or descent, roots, or heritage, or the place of birth of the person or the person's parents or ancestors before their arrival in the United States." According to 2000 U.S. Census data, an increasing number of United States citizens identify simply as American on the question of ancestry. The Census Bureau reports the number of people in the United States who reported American and no other ancestry increased from 12.4 million in 1990 to 20.2 million in 2000. This increase represents the largest numerical growth of any ethnic group in the United States during the 1990s. In the 1980 census, 26% of United States citizens cited that they were of English ancestry, making them the largest group at the time. Slightly more than half of these individuals would cite that they were of American ancestry on subsequent censuses when the option to do so was made available, with areas that American Ancestry predominates on the 2000 census corresponds to places where English predominated on the 1980 census. In the 2000 United States census, 6.9% of the American population chose to self identify itself as having American ancestry. 
The four states in which a plurality of the population reported American ancestry are Arkansas 15.7%, Kentucky 20.7%, Tennessee 17.3%, and West Virginia 18.7%. Sizable percentages of the populations of Alabama percent Mississippi percent North Carolina percent South Carolina percent Georgia percent and Indiana percent also reported American ancestry. In the southern United States as a whole 11.2% reported American ancestry, second only to African American. American was the fourth most common ancestry reported in the Midwest and West All southern states except for Delaware, Maryland, Florida, and Texas reported 10% or more American, but outside the South, only Missouri and Indiana did so. American was in the top five ancestries reported in all southern states except for Delaware, in four Midwestern states bordering the South Indiana, Kansas, Missouri, Ohio as well as Iowa, and six Northwestern states Colorado, Idaho, Oregon, Utah, Washington, Wyoming, but only one Northeastern state, Maine. The pattern of areas with high levels of American is similar to that of areas with high levels of not reporting any national ancestry. In the 2014 American Community Survey, German Americans 14.4%, Irish Americans 10.4%, English Americans 7.6%, and Italian Americans 5.4% were the four largest self-reported European ancestry groups in the United States, forming 37.8% of the total population. However, English, Scotch-Irish, and British American demography is considered to be seriously undercounted, as the 6.9% of U.S. Census respondents who self-report and identify simply as American are primarily of these ancestries and of the Scotch-Irish ancestry in particular. <laughs> Academic analysis Reynolds Farley writes that we may now be in an era of optional ethnicity, in which no simple census question will distinguish those who identify strongly with a specific European group from those who report symbolic or imagined ethnicity. Stanley Lieberson and Mary C. Waters write. As whites become increasingly distant in generations and time from their immigrant ancestors, the tendency to distort, or remember selectively, one's ethnic origins increases. E. Tinnich categories are social phenomena that over the long run are constantly being redefined and reformulated. Mary C. Waters contends that white Americans of European origin are afforded a wide range of choice. In a sense, they are constantly given an actual choice. They can either identify themselves with their ethnic ancestry or they can melt into the wider society and call themselves American. Professors Anthony Daniel Perez and Charles Hirschman write, European national origins are still common among whites. Almost three of five whites name one or more European countries in response to the ancestry question. However, a significant share of whites respond that they are simply American or leave the ancestry question blank on their census forms. Ethnicity is receding from the consciousness of many white Americans. Because national origins do not count for very much in contemporary America, many whites are content with a simplified Americanized racial identity. The loss of specific ancestral attachments among many white Americans also results from high patterns of intermarriage and ethnic blending among whites of different European stocks. See also. Americanism ideology American exceptionalism American nationalism American patriotism Historical racial and ethnic demographics of the United States Native Americans in the United States Race and ethnicity in the United States <laughs>